Centurion, the commanders of the century in the ancient Roman army. I can still remember the day when the two of us joined the army as ordinary foot soldiers. And now, we have both become centurions, officers in the Roman army, commanding a hundred people each. Yeah, and the pay is much better as well. Emollient, having the quality of softening or soothing the skin. I've heard great things about your latest emollient skin cream. Tell us more about it. This is an amazing lotion with wonderful emollient properties. It softens and soothes your skin better than any other product in the market. I use it every day, and my skin is so soft that I may pass for a 25-year-old when I'm actually 45. Thwart to stop somebody doing what he or she planned to do, to prevent something happening. It's raining so hard. All the roads are wet and slippery. There's no way we can go cycling. Of all the days it had to rain today, the bad weather has completely thwarted our plans to ride through the countryside. It's prevented us from doing what we were looking forward to doing all week long. Ambivalence. The state of having mixed feelings or contradictory ideas about something or someone. Oh, which dress should I wear? The black one or the red one? Should I wear an evening gown or a short dress? Or, or should I wear something ethnic? Why don't you help me decide? Honey, you show such ambivalence when it comes to dressing up. You can never make up your mind. I've always told you that you look beautiful in everything. You could wear anything at all. Epicure. A person who takes particular pleasure in fine food and drink. This is a wonderful dish. It has such a complex taste with such a delicate balance of ingredients. Well done. You are a real artist when it comes to food. Thank you. It is such a pleasure cooking for you. You have such a good knowledge of food and enjoy it so much. You are such an epicure. Bigot. A person with very strong, unreasonable beliefs or opinions, and who will not listen to or accept a different opinion. Things used to be so much better in the olden times. Technology is bad for this world. Nothing is the same anymore. Mark my words. Computers will take down this world. Come on, technology's not all bad. Look at how much faster things are these days. So what's wrong with taking the time to do things? I miss the time we used to take handwritten notes. I don't care what you say. I don't want to listen to you. Technology and computers are bad, and that's that. You are being a bigot. Narrow-minded and prejudiced. You have such a strong opinion, and you just won't listen to reason. Debility, physical weakness, especially as a result of old age. He has grown so weak and feeble with old age. His debility has confined him to the bed, and he can hardly move around. Don't worry, we'll take good care of him. Acuity, sharpness or keenness of thought, vision, or hearing. I can't read the signs from here. We'll have to walk closer to see if that's the shop we're looking for. I can read the signs clearly. Look, there's the shop we're looking for. Wow, you have such sharp eyesight. Your vision has such acuity. 
It's amazing that you can read all the signs from so far. Surly. Bad-tempered. Rude. This chicken is cold and doesn't taste good. My wife cannot even look at it. Can you take it back and get us something that we can actually eat? Please don't be upset, sir. I'll take care of this right away. Poor guy. It's horrible when you get surly customers who are bad-tempered and rude. Look at those people screaming at him. Curmudgeon. A bad-tempered person. Ooh, I'm so excited! Organizing a party is a great idea! We should absolutely invite Amelia, Nancy, Mike, and Rhonda! Yes, I can't wait to meet them! It's so much fun to be around Mike and Rhonda! Uh, and what about Jim? Should we call him to the party as well? No way! He's a real curmudgeon! He's grumpy and sulking all the time! He'll spoil everyone's mood and ruin the party! Braggart, a person who boasts about his or her achievements or possessions. I don't even know where to begin about the last 10 years. It's been even more exciting than school was. I have done so many great things. I've held high posts, run businesses, property, cars, women, you name it, I've had it. Here we go again. He's always talking about himself. He's such a braggart. He just likes to boast about himself. Don't believe a word he says. Debunk. To expose falseness or hollowness of an idea or belief. And now, Your Honor, I am going to debunk everything my opposing lawyer said. I am going to show that everything he said is completely false. I will debunk every claim or argument he made and show my client to be completely innocent. My client is in fact the most innocent and gentle man you can imagine. Now he's going to try and rip apart everything I said. This is going to be a long and painful case. Epitomize. To be a perfect example of something. Not only is Barack Obama the President of the United States of America, he is also the perfect example of how a man should be with his wife. He epitomizes the perfect husband and sets the standard for how a man in power should treat his wife. Hidebound. Unwilling or unable to change because of tradition or convention. And another new development has the whole science community really excited. But are these developments making anything better? My answer is no. You need to ask yourself carefully if you really want things to change. Look at every aspect of life today. The internet, video games, nothing is the same. It's all changing. We need to get together and take control. Wow, this reporter is so hidebound. He's so narrow-minded and fixed in his ideas. He doesn't like anything new. He would have us live in the Middle Ages forever. Languish. To be or become feeble, weak, innervated. We lost again! I feel like I have no energy. I can't believe it. We lost again! Our team is so low on energy and vigor this year. We have no vitality. We are languishing at the bottom of the soccer league! Restorative. Making you feel better, healthier, and stronger. What a day. I don't know if I can take this anymore. I just can't bear the stress. I am so looking forward to my yoga class. Hmm. 
Hmm. All my stress is gone. My strength and peace of mind have been restored. Yoga has such amazing restorative powers. The ability to restore your health and strength. Curtail. Reduce in extent or quantity. Impose a restriction on. Look at the time. It's past midnight. Your exams are about to start and you are coming home so late. Who will study for your exams? We will have to stop your partying. Yes, we will have to curtail to reduce the freedom you have in going out with your friends unless you take care to come home in time. Acquiesce. Accept something reluctantly, but without protest. Boy, I can't wait to start playing Doom Patrol. It's the best video game in the world. This is gonna be so much fun! Kevin, look at what a mess your room is in. Are you going to play that video game or clean up your room? Do I have a choice? I was going to have fun. But I have to acquiesce with you. I have to agree quietly without protest. Otherwise, you'll find a way to give me even more work later. I'll clean up my room. Bureaucracy. A bureaucracy typically refers to an organization that is complex with multi-layer systems and processes. So you want a permit for your shop? Fill out this form and get it back with all your documents. Once I've reviewed it, I'll provide it to the assistant manager. After he's reviewed it, he'll pass it on to the office manager who will then tell what additional information is required. Once you provide the additional information, we will all review it again and then send it to our sub-regional manager. Once the sub-regional manager is satisfied, he'll pass it on to the regional manager, who will then take some time to review it, as he has a lot of permits coming to him. It's a complex process. It'll take some time. The bureaucracy in this office is unbelievable. It's such a complex administrative system with so many complicated rules and such a long process. I don't know when we'll get our permit. Philanthropy. Charity. Love of mankind. Goodwill to fellow members of the human race. Active effort to promote human welfare. And now... I am welcoming on stage Bill and Melinda Gates. They are known the world over for their philanthropy, for their charity, and active effort to promote human welfare. Their foundation has donated over $24 billion to charity. Whimsical subject to erratic behavior or unpredictable change. Oh, I'm so excited about tomorrow evening! We could go catch a movie, or maybe we could watch a play. Or we could get some dinner at a nice restaurant. But the weather forecast is so good, so maybe we could just roam around outside. Oh, I'm so impulsive. I never know what I'll want to do the next day. So maybe we could just decide what to do when we meet tomorrow evening. What should I do? It's so hard making plans with such a whimsical girlfriend. She's so unpredictable and shows such whims. I never know what she'll want to do. Fusillade. A series of shots fired or missiles thrown, all at the same time or in quick succession. Men, in your next test, each of you needs to let out a burst of gunfire. You need to hit that target with this fusillade of bullets, and the first two men who do this will be rewarded with a three-day leave pass. He just likes to shout loudly and make everything sound difficult and complicated. Anyone can hit the target if you let out a fusillade of dozens of bullets. We're first in line. Just point your gun in the direction of the target. Let out a burst of gunfire and let's win those leave passes.
heresy, an opinion or belief that is profoundly different from what is generally accepted to be true. Uh, let me see what the vice president of sales in my company says in his interview today. Please tell us a bit more about how you do business at ABC Corp. You know, at ABC Corp, it's not just about making profits for us. We genuinely care about our customers. A few years ago, I used to feel that business is all about profits, but now... I have become mature and see the bigger picture. Profits are not that important. We don't care that much about profits. So what if we make a bit of a loss as long as our customers are happy? It's so inspiring to hear your thoughts. What is he talking about? I can't believe what he is saying. He doesn't think we need profits? Let me see him in office tomorrow. So, Jim, what were you saying on TV yesterday? That was absolute heresy. You went against every rule of business. So you want to be an orthodox and you don't care about profits anymore, eh? You want to be a heretic? Well, you won't need to worry about profits anymore because you are fired. Hiatus. A pause or break in continuity in a sequence or activity. I am excited to bring you the latest news in entertainment. The King of Pop, Michael Jackson, is returning from a lengthy hiatus. As you know, the singer has been away from performing for several years. He hasn't staged a concert since 1997. He's now making a grand return with a series of concerts. This show, after a hiatus of over a decade, is being called This Is It. Languid. Having or showing a disinclination for physical exertion or effort. What a beautiful day. Come on. Let's go for a bicycle ride and see the whole beach. Hmm, no way. The hot, humid weather is making me feel so languid, so lazy and sleepy. You go for a ride. I'm just going to lie down, relax, and take a nap. Quizzling. A person who helps an enemy that has taken control of his or her country. I am looking at this report, and it says that you were seen with the German soldiers in town. Are you a Quisling? A traitor? Did you reveal our secrets to the Germans? Of course not. How can you even say that? I am not a Quisling. I am no traitor. I was spying on the Germans to get information for our plans. Impune. Dispute the truth, validity, or honesty of a statement or motive. Call into question. And in conclusion, I would like to say that the facts I have presented are clear and will be very difficult to impugn the evidence that I have produced in support of my case. It will in fact be very easy for me to attack your arguments and criticize your case. I will take it apart statement by statement and impugn every point that you have made. Commensurate. Equal in extent. Equal in significance. Of the same size. Just like in the past, this year's bonus will be commensurate with the sales. In other words, each of you will get a bonus that is proportionate to the sales you made. People who made higher sales will get a higher bonus, and those who made lower sales will get a lower bonus. But don't worry, everybody gets a bonus. Diatribe A forceful and bitter verbal attack against someone or something. 
Your policies are unacceptable. We will not accept a pay cut. Why don't you start hacking the salaries of top management executives? You can save more there. This is very unfair to ordinary workers like us. Pay cuts must be proportionate to what we earn. Those who earn more should give up more. I have sat patiently through your diatribe, your long speech of strong criticism. I have listened to you patiently. Please be fair to us. We are trying our best to handle the situation. You have made some good points, and I'll take these back to our board of directors. I think we can work out something that will benefit all of us. Alleviate. Relieve. Oh, doctor, I have a terrible headache. The right side of my head has been paining for three days. Can you give me something to alleviate the pain? It looks like you have a migraine headache. Take these pills three times a day. They will reduce the pain and make you feel better. Inerrancy. Lack of error. Class, I will be teaching you English literature. And I want you to know that I am capable of inerrancy when it comes to discussing Shakespeare's plays. I never make mistakes. Sir, we are so lucky to have you as our teacher. I promise you that I'll study very hard and try to become inerrant just like you. I'll try to be perfect and make no mistakes in our English literature exam. Conniving. Given to or involved in conspiring to do something immoral. Hey guys, I'm just coming from the boss's office and he wants to see the two of you about that deal that got canceled yesterday night. All right. Thanks for letting us know. We'll go and see him. I don't trust him at all. He's so conniving. He's always scheming to get us in trouble. I wonder what he said to the boss about us. I know what you mean. He's very cunning and is always trying to manipulate things and connive against us. He must have come in extra early to see the boss before us. Who knows what all he said to him? We better prepare to defend ourselves. Mints. To cut up or grind food into very small pieces. All right, son. Are you ready to start cooking? Yes, Dad. What do we do first? Um, let's see. The recipe book says that we need to start by mincing some onions. We need to finally chop the onions into tiny little pieces. Uh-oh. Chopping onions always makes your eyes watery. Mom will think that we're crying. Palpate. To examine by touch, especially for medical purposes. I'm going to palpate your stomach. I'm going to examine it by touching your stomach area gently with my hands to see where the pain is. Oh, oh I'm in so much pain. Doctor, please be careful while touching my stomach. I'm very ticklish and it hurts when I laugh. Platitude. A remark or statement, especially one with a moral content, that has been used too often to be interesting or thoughtful. Don't worry, son. I'm sure you'll do better next time. Just try your hardest, put your best foot forward, keep your head held high, make your parents proud, and never give up. Come on, coach. I need more than just platitudes. There's nothing new in what you are telling me. These are just stale remarks about obvious things. How about analyzing my performance and telling me what I did wrong? Dross. Foreign matter or mineral waste, in particular scum formed on the surface of molten metal. The heat of this furnace is so great that it melts the iron ore to a liquid 
which is drained off, leaving behind waste impurities, called the dross. Ah, I see. The melted iron ore is flowing away. So that's how you separate the dross, the worthless impurities from the iron ore. Dottle. Waste time. Be slow. Come along now. Don't dawdle in the corridor. You shouldn't be hanging around wasting your time and doing nothing. You should be studying for your exams. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Beagle. We're just on our way to class. We'll get going right away. Lassitude. A state of physical or mental weariness. I'm suffering from such lassitude today. I'm getting tired so quickly. I don't know what's wrong. It's because you've been working out every day without a break. Too much exercise is making you feel tired and weary. Take a couple of days rest and you'll get over your lassitude. Fleet. A number of warships under a single command. Spain has sent an armada of warships to invade us. It is a large fleet of ships, but don't worry. I have a plan to defeat them, and they won't set foot on England. I hope your plan works, Sir Francis. The Spanish Armada is very powerful, and is the largest fleet of warships I have ever seen. Expiate. Make amends or reparation for guilt or wrongdoing. You are so late, we missed the show. You always get late, and I'm not talking with you, and I'm never going out with you again. Honey, don't say that. I'm so sorry I got late again. I'll do anything to make it up to you. Uh, t t tell me what I can do to expiate for my, my mistakes. What can I do to make it up to you and make amends for my behavior? Apprehension. Anxiety or fear that something bad or unpleasant will happen. I have serious apprehensions about this exam. I feel that it's going to go very badly. What if I forget everything that I have studied? Come on, don't be so apprehensive. Don't be nervous and afraid. We've been studying so hard for this exam. I'm sure you'll be fine and will remember everything you've learned. Renig, go back on a promise, undertaking, or contract. Senator, we get reports every day that our roads are in increasingly bad condition. Didn't you promise when you were elected that you would improve our roads and transportation system? Er, uh, yes, but we ran out of money for the project, and other important things came up. Isn't it just like a politician to renege and go back on promises he had made? Well, what'd you expect? Do you think that politicians ever keep their promises? Derision. A state of being laughed at or ridiculed. Oh, I'm so upset! I was talking to my neighbors, Jill and Lena, and I just happened to mention my alien visitors, and they just started laughing at me and making fun of me. They treated me with such derision. I thought I was being perfectly sensible. Do you think they should have made fun of me like that? There, there. Don't feel so bad about it. They shouldn't have derided you and laughed at you like that. They probably didn't understand that when you said alien visitors, you just met your friends from a foreign country. That just shows you how immature and uneducated your neighbors are. Precipitate. To make something happen suddenly or sooner than expected. Can all of you hurry up? We're getting late and we'll lose our dinner reservation at the restaurant. Can I do anything to precipitate our departure and make it happen more quickly? 
Honey, you need to have more patience. We all need to get ready, right? Dad, calm down. If you want us to get ready quickly, you could just ask nicely. 